Welcome back, and now we're taking a look at the Ennis House, the largest of Frank Lloyd Wright's Los Angeles area textile block houses that paid homage to Mayan architecture. In fact, its distinct appearance led to its use as a location in several classic films, such as Day of the Locust and Blade Runner. It was also reportedly one of the architect's favorites. Hi, I'm Tim Gleason, curator of Frank Lloyd Wright's Ennis House, a masterpiece of American 20th century design. Roughly 6,200 square feet. The main house is three bedrooms and three and a half baths, including the staff quarters across the motor court. Come, let me show you around. Frank Lloyd Wright had a very special soft spot for this house. He called it the Glendower Opus. I think it was something that he always considered a great success. Frank Lloyd Wright was always pushing the envelope. This house is a testament to that. The materials used, the expansive views, the shape of the exterior is like no other building. You have hints of modern mixed with hints of an ancient temple. Textile blocks were made using the granite and the gravel from the site. So the house was part of the earth. It's an asymmetrical design. So the block can be moved to frame a window, to highlight a certain area with plain blocks and the decorative blocks all working together to create a design within the design. Here we are in the entryway. Low ceilings, tight space. His idea was to push you through here into the more public rooms. We would go up the stairs and the whole house would open up to us. Here we are in the real soul of the house. The dining room is set four feet higher than the living room and is really the best vantage point in the whole house. The Ennises added more of the Mayan flavor to the house with the fireplace surround, the chandeliers, it's hard to imagine having a bad meal in a room like this. Now that we've spent time in the dining room, let's go down to the living room. Here we are in the center of the house, the living room. It's anchored by a dynamic fireplace designed by Blanche Ostertag. She designed three fireplaces for Frank Lloyd Wright. This is the only one still in existence. The glass mosaics sparkle all day long with the western light coming in from the windows. It's hard to ignore the views out the double doors onto the balcony. It's one of the best places on the house. Now let's walk down the loggia to the master bedroom. The master bedroom anchors the far end of the house. Wright uses another one of his mitered corner windows to enhance the view from the bed. It has a real warmth. It's anchored by a fireplace. You have a heavy timbered ceiling and you have expansive views. Now let's walk down the loggia to the swimming pool and the rest of the exteriors and gardens. The swimming pool is surrounded by the San Gabriel Mountains, pine trees, and textile blocks. Walking around the house, there's really not a bad view, both of the house and of the landscape. It's a real harmony between the house and its surroundings. You really feel a real part of nature. Thank you for joining me on a tour of Frank Lloyd Wright's Innes House. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have.